Hello and welcome. Husqvarna Svart Pilen 701. In one of my first videos I built those red crash bars and somebody left a comment saying that Husqvarna is an awful bike with many flaws. I completely disagree with the first part of the statement. I like riding this bike very much. Uh, but unfortunately the second part of the statement is kind of true. It's got flaws. And one of them is uh, constantly leaking gas tank. There was a recall for it because Kvarna was replacing those gas tanks uh, with the new upgraded ones free of charge. And my recall was done about two years ago. But guess what? The tank is leaking again from exactly the same spot, which is a uh, fuel pump mounting flange. So I'm going to have to come up with some kind of homemade solution to the problem. Well, if you have nothing better to do, you're welcome to watch. This is the gas tank and uh, the mounting flange for the fuel pump is right there. This flange is quite flimsy. You can basically move it in any direction. So on hot days it just warped and uh, gas is leaking from the tank. My solution to the problem will be two aluminum rings and I will sandwich that uh, fuel pump mounting flange between those two rings. Uh, this one I have to cut it in two pieces otherwise there's no way to put that inside of the tank because there is no big enough opening in the tank. So that will go underneath then then there will be the flange and uh, on the top of the flange another ring and those two rings will be squeezed together with ten bolts. Of course there will be gaskets between them and stuff. Uh, I hope that's gonna work. Let's see.
in case you're wondering that black stuff I use on uh, heads of the bolts was uh, JB Weld. And this is stock fuel pump gasket. Fuel pump goes in like this. Now the question is, will it leak or not? I guess there is only one way to find out. 24 hours later, the glue is fully cured. I'm gonna pour some gas into the tank to see if it's leaking. That should be enough. I'm gonna wait for a few hours to see what's gonna happen. Two hours have passed and uh, nothing is happening. This is exactly what I was shooting for. The tank can go back on the bike now. It's all good again. Thanks for watching and see you next time.